Alright, in this video I'm going to do an example of solving some uh, what we'll call fancy quadratic equations. So they're going to be quadratics that are just going to be a little trickier. Some of them may not be exactly actually quadratic equations, um, but we'll be able to solve them in the same way. So in the first problem here we have x minus 3 quantity squared minus 7 times the quantity x minus 3 plus 12. And there's a couple different ways you could go about doing this problem. You could first start just simply multiplying everything out, uh, collecting like terms, and then uh, you know either using the quadratic formula or trying to factor it. Um, kind of the way we can do this though, if you imagine doing like a substitution, suppose we call, suppose we say let x minus 3, suppose we call that something else, suppose we call that y. So if we just kind of do this relabeling, we can now rewrite this as y squared minus 7 times y plus 12 equals 0. And in this case, um, the first thing I would think, does this factor nicely? And, you know, actually I believe it is going to factor nicely. Um, so to get y squared, we would need y and y. And then we simply need two numbers that multiply to positive 12 but add up to negative 7. I think we could use negative 3 and negative 4 for that. So we'll simply set that equal to 0. And then we simply set both parts to 0. So y minus 3 equals 0, y minus 4 equals 0. To solve these, we'll have to add 3 to both sides in the first part. To solve the second one, we'll simply have to add 4 to both sides. But again, we didn't start with y. We started uh, with this x minus 3. So now we can kind of do this one extra step of just replacing the y with the x minus 3, and then just kind of solving again. So we said y is x minus 3. So I'm just replacing that on the left side. And that equals 3. If I add 3 to both sides, I'll get x equals 6 as my first solution. And likewise, if I write x minus 3 equals 4, if I add 3 to both sides, I'll get my other solution of x equals 7. And now I'm done. I found my two solutions to this original quadratic equation.